very beautiful city, Grafton. Uh, the uh, jacarandas not out quite just yet, a bit too cool for them, but when they bloom in September, it's one of the prettiest cities that you'd find. The Grafton Cup, huge crowd there. I can see quite a few people hanging over the fence up at the mile and a half start at school holidays. School would be out anyway, I suppose, but school holidays, plenty of people in town and a big crowd there having a look at uh, the Grafton Cup. They're under starters orders and they're starting to move in. Waits ride at Ipswich on race six. The New South Wales first four on three, one, six and five was $259.20 on race number six. Now let's uh, take you to Grafton for the running of the cup and with his call, here's Alan Thomas. Ledger Domain about to take up its position. Romeo George via Sinai. Legal Brief is back with Johnny Reb. We're getting set for the big race. Tremendous crowd here to see this race this afternoon. Absolute boom crowd. And Bellis at the moment is he the favourite. Bellis, yes, at $4.50. Coming off his win in the Tats Cup and second to Raw Instinct at Caloundra. He's been very well back to win the race. Now these runners are coming over. Now here's the grey Ash Sind, a star affair is about to move in via Sinai. And then Legal Brief and Johnny Reb will be the last two. Majestically stands up well. Bellis is favourite at 440 over two. Majestically at 690. Bellis races in almost all blue. Majestically has got the inside gate, colours red and white. Now Legal Brief about to come over. Pagano is ready, it's taken up its position. And here's the last couple, Johnny Reb is about to move over and via Sinai. Johnny Reb, free flowing horse, will probably come down the outside, is expected to take up the running uh, from out there. Whether he does or not, we'll know shortly. Majestically, he's got that good gait. Priscilla stands up well. Garden scene ready with Romeo, George, and Kugelhoff. Ledger Domain is ready. Now, Via Sinai will be the last to be loaded here. Legal Brief ready. Johnny Reb is set. Pagano, Raw Instincts in. So is Silent Impact. Darcy Dior. Bella stands well in the middle. Now, here's Via Sinai. Moves up to the outside. They are now all in the barrier stools. We're ready to go. Tui's new 2003 Grafton Cup. Stand by for a start. Blue light about to turn to red. Starter on the platform. They're all set to go. In fact, they stand very, very well. Ready? They're set. One marking time, silent impact. They're set, they're off and racing. Good start to Garden scene might have been a shade slow. Majestically over near the inside began well. Priscilla out okay. Kugelhoff was well away. Ledger Domain's going forward in the early part. So is Raw Instinct. So is Legal Brief. And Johnny Rivers coming down the extreme outside. They worked to the winning post the first time. Just over 2,000 metres to go. And it's Legal Brief going to the lead. On the inside, Priscilla. Johnny Reb third, followed by Raw Instinct fourth. Ledger Domain fifth on the outside. Majestically travels next on the rails. A length away in the field of Darcy Dior. Bellis is in between runners. Garden scenes on the rail. Then came Kugelhoff, followed by Romeo George. Ash Sinner, Star Affair, Pagano via Sinai. And Silent Impact is last of all. To the back to the 1600 metres mark and Johnny Reb went clear. Two and a half to Legal Brief and three to Raw Instinct, a half Priscilla. One Ledger Domain, he's racing fifth. Over on the inside, Majestically sixth. And Bellis is tracking Majestically all of the way in seventh position. One away to Garden Scene on the inside from Kugelhoff the middle. Darcy Dior's out deep, one Romeo George, followed by Ash Sin. Then comes a Star Affair, followed by Pagano via Sinai and Silent impact is last of all. They're over by the 1,000 metres mark and Johnny Reb's gone clear of the field. Johnny Reb's out by four lengths. 
In second spot, Legal Brief, two Raw Instinct, Priscilla fought the rails. One led to Domain, Majestically's on the rails and Bellis is still tracking him all the way. Garden Seen, midfield on the inside from Darcy Dior. They've been followed by Kugelhoff and now Silent Impacts off on the outside from Romeo George. Ash Sinner, Star Affair via Sinai and Pagano. They're passing the 600. Johnny Reb, two Legal Brief, two and a half to Raw Instinct. On the outside, led to Domain's going forward, Majestically's in traffic from Priscilla. Now Bellis is getting to the outside from Silent Impact and Kugelhoff and Garden Scene. Around the bend, 3.50 to run. Johnny Reb tackled by Legal Brief. Led to Domain and here's Bellis on the outside starting to come into it. And then came Raw Instinct. Legal Brief tackled by Led to Domain. Bellis on the outside is claiming them from Johnny Reb. Then Raw Instinct and Majestically. Led to Domain tackled by Bellis at the 100 metres mark and Bellis is shot to the lead. Bellis in front of Led to Domain. Then Majestically Majestically, but Bellis has drawn clear and Bellis wins the cup from Majestically. Ledger Domain, third from Romeo George. Silent Impact, Raw Instinct, Johnny Reb Pagano. The next time of the race, Kugelhoff. Then came behind those, Garden Scene, Legal Brief, Priscilla, Ash Sin via Sinai. A long way back on the field, Darcy Dior and a star affair as last of all. And it is Bellis. Bellis ridden by Mark Zara. To pay 420 and 190. Two majestically got strung up in traffic at a vital stage, desperately unlucky 260. And 12 ledger domain will pay $8.70. Well, wait for these numbers to be confirmed. They're going on the board. It is 5, 2, and 12. 5, 2, and 12. Time for the race 227.2. 227.2, fourth in the race went to number 15, and that was Romeo George. Our numbers are 5, 2, 12, and 15. Well, he's had great form, Bellis. He won the Tats Cup at Eagle Farm. He ran second to Raw Instinct in the Caloundra Cup. A very fit horse. And today he was given a beautiful run by Mark Zara. He had him travelling in about 6th and 7th position. He came into the race at the right time. And he shot to the lead in the straight. And just when Ledger Domain had claimed the lead from Legal Brief, the favourite Bellis pounced on the outside. And his recent Tats form and Caloundra Cup form stood him in good stead. And this promising young stayer, this five-year-old who's only had 18 or 19 starts that it is now, has gone home to win and win the Cup and win it well. Righto, dividend. Irish Prince goes in and Indian Quiver completes the line. Go Errol, the inside runner. Lock the keys, our favourite. Races in green, light, light green or lime green with white sleeves. Red light goes on. Ready to run in the Sir James Kirby. 1,000 metres the distance. Stand by for a start. They are about to break. Set. They're racing now. Go Errol near the inside, jumped okay, but couldn't muster speed. And out wide, Hurricane Stroller was the first to go. Lock the Key's going to sit on its hammer in the early part. Autumn Showers gets into third position. Then came Irish Prince on the outside, followed then by Papal Prince a little bit deep, followed by War Blazer. A long way back on the field came Indian Quiver. Go Errol and last of all, Real Silence. Hurricane Stroller's in front. Lock the Key's outside it at the 600 metres mark. Then came... Autumn showers on the inside from Irish Prince, Papal Prince and further back as War and Go Errol's picking up ground from a long way back. It's Hurricane Stroller in front, 300 metres to go. Lock the key coming after it, followed by Autumn Showers. War getting into the clear from Irish Prince and Papal Prince but Lock the key, the favourite, hit the front. Lock the key in front of Hurricane Stroller. Autumn Showers on the outside but Lock the key is just in front of Hurricane Stroller and the favourite's too good. Lock the keys, it wins the last. Lock the key from either Hurricane Stroller or war which got home hard autumn showers behind those from blazer irish prince and papal prince followed by go errol a long way back on the field then to real silence and last time was indian quiver the putters finish off as they started yesterday with lock the key ridden by andrew bloomfield winning the last hurricane strala wouldn't uh, wouldn't go away and then war has got home hard at the fence at the finish but the favorite broke clear lock the key and he's drawn away to win by about a length on the line. Hurricane Stroller battled hard for second. War will be third. 
Now the numbers are going up in the frame and they are 2, 10 and 15. 2, 10, 15. Number two, Lock the Key, ridden by Andrew Bloomfield first. Second, the race goes to number 10, Hurricane Stroller, Marlon Delendo. 15, third, War, Robert Thompson. Eight was fourth and that was Autumn Showers, Alan Abrahams and nine was fifth and that was Blazer. The numbers are 2, 10, 15 and 8. 2, 10, 15 and 8. Just completing these dividends on the last. Lock the key will pay 3.20 and 1.70. Number 2, 10 Hurricane Stroller has paid 3.10. 15 Wars paid 3.60. Quinella 19.20. The Exacta 32.60. The Trifecta 3.29.70. The Daily Double numbers 5 and 2 pays $10.30. $10.30 for 5 Bellis and 2 Lock the Key. And the Daily Double Special Dividend with 5 Bellis has paid $3.60. Well, that's it. That's the uh, that's the big days gone from uh, Grafton. I hope you've enjoyed the coverage, folks. It's been tremendous racing, and uh, we'll send correct weight down the line, and that'll tidy up all details on the last. So, from here, on behalf of Damien Seaton and Steve Hawkins, I'm Alan Thomas. Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks very much, Alan. And well done there to the boys at Grafton over the last couple of days. It's uh, it's been a pretty big job, but but as a way on a on a happy note, that locked the key, taking up the last. We've got the last at Mangaroo.